You're probably wondering, what am I doing? Well, this big wooden pole is called a maypole, and in 30 minutes, up to 900 people are gonna come here to try and steal it from this Austrian farm. But that's not all. If they succeed, everyone gets together in the middle of the town to lift it by hand whilst drinking absurd amounts of beer, listening to music, and then it gets sold to the highest bidder. Well, that's what I've heard at least. But this year, I'm joining in to see if this is Austria's craziest tradition. As we arrived at the location, we were warmly welcomed with a cold beer and an explanation of what was about to happen. So here's the breakdown. We were located in a place called Heigermus. Somewhere within this town, there's a maypole hiding. The reason for this is because other towns nearby are about to try and steal this pole and take it back to their town. And when they're successful, they will be rewarded with beer, food, and a massive party. So now it's time for me to protect the pole. So we found the my bar uh, in the middle of a in the middle of a farmer's house. It's basically locked in here with a concrete and harvester. Um, they've made it as, as close to impossible as they can to stop people from stealing the mm, stealing it. So you're probably wondering how does one actually steal a maypole or my bowl in German? The maypole is considered stolen when it has been moved by hand one whole length of the maypole. What's even more amazing is that this tradition comes with a list of rules. Uh, we got sent uh, some Maibaum stealing rules. And the rules are, there's a, there's, a, there's a rule that says keine Polizei. You're not allowed police, so police is not, a, not allowed to be involved. You cannot damage any part of the Maibaum. You have to move the Maibaum, the length of the Maibaum, in order for it to be stolen. The town that steals the Maibaum is invited to the party. Here you can see the first thieves getting ready to try to steal the baum. In this region that we're in, there's about two to three my bombs that are actually up for stealing. But for my bomb stealers, there's about 15 groups. Each group can be between 50 and 60 people, which means if 15 groups come to steal this my bomb, that's 15 times 60 people. It's a lot of people. In order to steal the Maibaum, they make trades with beer. Like what's happening right now. They're trading beer for the keys to the harvester. So right now, they're waiting for this to be removed. Same thing goes for the people sitting on the Baum. They can pay them with beer to get them to move so it's easier to steal. The deal is finalized, they have the keys, and now they're moving the Maidresha. So as, as soon as the um, harvester is uh, out of the way, we sit immediately on the my bum. Oh. <laughs> yeah. hey. Someone deactivated the diesel uh, function or something. Oi! Come on! Come on! What's happening? <laughs> They started to get desperate. They started to get frustrated. And then they started pulling people off the maypole. We're not moving. We're not moving. <laughs> so we've been, we've been sitting on the tree now for almost two hours, an hour 45 minutes, and it hasn't moved a centimeter. Uh, we've, we've gone through two groups. This is the second group now. And uh, we're, we, yeah, we're waiting until something happens and then, then nothing's happening because they're too weak. They're not stealing our bounce. They can't steal our bounce. What are you saying, bro? You can't steal our bounce. And that's when things started to happen. So the Maibaum has been stolen, that means the Maibaum has been moved, the, the length of the Maibaum. Uh, it's sitting here now, that's a success for, for the Steelers. That's a loss for us. It does mean we're going to put the Maibaum up together. After they succeeded, they of course had to take it back to their town. So they loaded it up on the tractor and drove it all the way to their town. Oh! Chaser! It's coming, we lost them. That's it, the Maibaum is gone. 
basically what's happening right now is I have no idea. There's a Mai Bao in the middle, in the middle of nowhere being removed from town in the middle of nowhere. He's gone. The Mai Bao is gone. We've lost it. And the next stage is we're going to see this standing <laughs> up. We arrived at the party, grabbed a beer and got ready to raise the pole. Yeah. So the way that they raise the pole by hand is by using these sticks. As a team, they support the pole and work together to slowly raise it up bit by bit. So right now, I'm pretending to <laughs> do something. Look at all the people. All these people came out to see this po pole be stick in the ground. And I think that's kind of gay later. It's not a party without good music. So I took it upon myself to make sure all of the musicians are doing their job properly. Johnny, we spielen für dich den Rainer Marsch und du bist der Schäfels. Passt. After I got the party started with some absolute beautiful music, it was time to return to my duty as a May pole in the ground rising person. One thing I find interesting is um, it's actually a lot of work. Like I thought they just drink beer all day and the tree puts itself up, but it's a lot of work. It's very dangerous. And right now I'm not helping, so <laughs> should probably do something. And after all is done and the pole is in the ground, it then gets sold to the highest bidder. And here's how. Martin's selling this Mai Bum today. The way that they sell it is in rounds. First round is one euro. To enter the round, you put one euro in. Then it's gone. Then it's gone. And then you're in the second round. Two euros. Then it's gone. Then it's gone. Your two euros, your three euros is gone. And then it's five euros. So it keeps going up. Five, 10, 15, 20, 50, 150, 200. And then if you get to the final, final, final round, or maybe 10,000, 1,000, you 1, have the Mai Bum, you own it. It's yours. You can take it home. You can take it home. She's almost finished the old girl. That means the tractor's gonna come and fill it with soil. That's it. Look at her. I've never in my life seen such a beautiful pole sticking out of the ground. Have you? Three, two, one. This is so stupid. Sure. Fertig. So, it's finished. It's up. The my bum's up. Oder? Almost. Maybe. Finished. I think it's finished. Looks pretty finished to me. Uh, and now the fest starts. And as I was finished, enjoying a nice cold drink, a young lady came up to me and she asked me to do something that is quite embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> This was my Maibaum experience and I can say after going through all of this, it is Austria's craziest tradition. Now it's time to head home. Um, yeah, my final thoughts for this whole concept is like just purely honestly I love how Austria brings itself together for such strange reasons. I think a lot of the reason that, that it was stolen was for fun and the reason it's put up is clearly for fun and if you ask many people here I think you can also get that answer. Um, but with that being said, next year, I'm stealing a my, <laughs> I'm stealing a my bomb. <laughs> Heh <laughs>